Hey guys, it's Jeff and today Apple released the next version of the iOS 12 betas and that is beta 3. The build number for this beta is 16A5318D and it's said to bring us bug fixes and improvements. The size for this update on my iPhone 10 is just around 570 megabytes. So let's check out what new features, changes or fixes come with this new beta. Before the video starts, I just wanted to let you guys know I've been using Mac Fly Pro to clean my Mac and keep it free from all of the junk that eats up my hard drive. It's even compatible with macOS Mojave, so check it out by heading down to the link in the description below. So just to put this out there, we've had a ton of issues running beta 2 on our devices. We've had black app cards on the iPad, crashing on the iPhone, and overall lag with iOS 12 beta 2. It's been quite annoying and honestly, it has turned a lot of users away from the betas. But we stuck it through and now with beta 3, these issues seem to be gone for now. Hopefully they stay that way, but we'll check back in with you a little bit later as to how all that is going, most likely this Thursday during the week. Now on to more exciting news and that is new features. So let's go over the new features or changes that we see in beta three. In the control center, the text for the screen recording is now white versus the black that it's been since iOS 11. That's super helpful to have it white to see what's going on and everything looks a lot better than it did before. Also on the control center, the text at the top is now aligned with each other as to where the text on the right hand side was significantly lower before it was almost touching the music box. So this looks a lot better, a lot cleaner in this configuration now. The timer button has now been taken back to the circle icon and honestly, I like the more rounded longer icon that they had in beta two, but maybe we'll be seeing that when the official release comes out with the new iPhone. Also, the AirPlay icon is now active, very active when you are playing music through an external device. It's almost like it's constantly moving and to me, the shade of blue looks a tad bit lighter in color. Speaking of this icon, when you are connected to a car via USB, this will be animated the same, but the color will be gray indicating you are hardwired and you are hardwired to a connected device. There have been a few more additions to the Memoji customization, but I'm not going to point them all out to you. So if you are on the public beta, you will be able to see those few more options for emoji. Honestly, I'm really happy that Apple has rolled out so many changes so early in the beta process. So check them out, try them out. So far, they are working really well for me. Now, when you go to change notification settings for an app, the icon now flashes when you select or deselect an option. And also you get a little haptic feedback as well when you make those selections. So those are some changes that have been brought to beta three. Let's talk about performance. We've already established that beta two kind of sucked as far as performance, but how is beta three looking in comparison? In beta three, I haven't experienced any crashes so far, even when stressing the processor by opening and closing apps quickly or switching between apps extremely quickly. The performance seems like it's there and stable, and we did confirm that running a Geekbench test where we saw the CPU at 4,247 on the single core and 10,415 on the multi-core. We also saw the GPU running at 15,530, which totals a 0.5% increase for the combined CPU and GPU scores. So it's nothing major, but we are still seeing more stability, which is really important. So far in actual use, no lags or stutters, and I'm really happy with how the iPhone and iPad are responding to beta three. The battery life on beta two was much improved from beta one, so hopefully we're still running in the right direction here as battery life seems to be almost about the same so far in beta three as in beta two. Anyways guys, that is it for beta three for you. If you want to check out the beta for yourself, head over to the link in the description below to hop onto the public betas. If you have any questions, comments, please send them to me down below and I'll do my best to answer those as well. So thank you all for watching and if you liked the video, hit that like button and also get subscribed to see some more upcoming content. We'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.